back there, man. Peace. Uh, we have some people here from the reservation, and we have to give pe pe respect and props and peace to the original inhabitants, because we're the ones that was taken from this land, and then we had slaves brought here to make this country rich. And now, I saw a brother last <clears throat> week was talking about reparations, which is not to be confused with retribution. Peace, brother. Peace to Africa Bombarda, the Zulu Nation. Hockey's from everywhere. Where you from, brother? New England. New England. We got brothers from Miami, Chicago, Chicago, Chicago Jersey, Washington, Jersey, Washington, LA, LA, Europe. Okay. Pizza, Italy, Harlem, Germany, South Africa. Peace to Rap Pages for staying true. 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 Peace to uh, all those. I, I did an interview with uh, someone and she said peace to, and she mentioned some people, and she said, if I didn't mention your name, no respect is due you. But there's a lot of people out here who have stayed real, regardless. Chuck D, Q-Tip, lots and lots and lots and lots of people who stayed true. And then you had a lot of people who made a lot of money and skipped town with the money. But the reason we're having this panel is to discuss hip-hop, the cultural roots, where it's going, where it's at, and what it's about. And one of the things that we have to keep in mind is that we're very, very close to the year 1999. And if anybody's aware of the science of prophecy and the New World Order and the Antichrist and the Beast, I suggest to you that you slow down for a quick heartbeat and you can still party and bullshit and have fun but be aware of the time and be aware that we are under attack i will stand up here and argue debate and and counsel and dialogue with anyone who does not believe that we are not only under attack but it's not something cute that you can put on a button we are under attack for our lives chemically and the AIDS, and the crack, and the 40 ounce, which everybody seems to want to get down with. And those of you who walk around blunted, I suggest to you that you're going to need that extra edge of physical, mental, and spiritual awareness. I'm not talking about being in touch with the herb. That's some of the other conversation. But if you're not using it <coughs> in a religious context, then you're abusing it. It's like peyote. With us, there's a way, a time, and a place. It's like making love. You don't do it out in the subway. And you don't do it to be cute. And you don't do it to do it. If you're taking it out of the spiritual context, it's like anything else. When you take something out of its proper context, you're abusing. And when you abuse, you lose. We have six years to Armageddon. On the X-Clan record, he said they killed Jesus Christ. Can Auburn get him be late? And then you never heard of X Clan anymore. I suggest to you that when we put science out there, they fear that. And they don't fear it because we have a great army, which we do. And they don't fear it because of our weapons, which we do have. They fear us spiritually because that's a power that they haven't been able to stop. They repress us, miseducate us, make us ignorant, make us slaves, make us do all this stuff, and then we produce a Miles Davis, or a KRS-One, or a Huey Newton, or a John Trudell, or a Leonard Peltier, or many, many, many other brothers that they're so afraid of, and they're afraid of me, and they're watching me, and last Monday somebody made a mistake and stepped to me, and he had to pay. And there was some FOI there, and they were told that because they did not take action, the next time anyone comes to me, and there are any brothers out there that see this and don't respond immediately, even if it's a one-armed midget, that their lives will be taken. That's how serious we are. If you see one of us, if you see one of us, and they come for one of us, those that are on the line, on the firing line, and on the razor's edge, you must protect them. We cannot lose any more martyrs. We leave the martyrs to the brothers in the Middle East who believe in that concept of martyrdom. I want to be alive because I've been put here to take up where Malcolm stopped, where different brothers stopped. There are other brothers here who have done that and sisters. 
We must protect their lives. And I'm not talking about something cute. I'm talking about my being able to get up and breathe tomorrow and to feed my children and to continue to spread the knowledge of self-empowerment and of the time. Hip-hop is the only music that we have that can talk about the struggle and the time. And I know you all are versed in hip-hop and you know all that negative stuff. On the newest album out, Craig Mack, do you, how many of you heard when God comes? How many of you understood what he was saying? You won't be able to get strapped when God comes. He said, the black family is now prehistoric and we don't need psychic healing from Dion Warwick. That sounds cute, but if you rewind it and think about it, there's a lot of brothers out there. If you listen to these brothers, uh, Boogie Monsters, they have a record about the beast. It's very clear. How many of you have heard that? Mark of the Beast. Okay, very clear, very specific. I'm not a paranoid, <laughs> schizophrenic psychopath. I'm as clear as the sun rising. <laughs> I'm becoming slowly to talk in language other than in English mm. and in native language. I'm going to start talking in terms of mathematics mm. and Eastern science. We have scientists who are over 2,500 years old who are still walking around amongst us. And every now and then they come and they give us a little touch or they brush by us. And it elevates you evolutionarily. We had a brother here two weeks ago who said the difference between evolution and revolution. If you look it up in the dictionary, revolution is the turn around in a circle. Evolution is to grow. Why would you turn around in a circle? You only go back where you started from. We need revolution in terms of evolution, which is a very, very powerful concept. Does everybody understand evolution and revolution? Protect my back when I'm out there. Protect one another. Love one another. Use hip-hop to the fullest and not to be condemning our sisters. There's an album out that I suggest you all buy or dub or, or get somehow. I'd like you to buy it because I want to see this brother have some money. Gil Scott Heron's Spirits. Listen to the message, to the messengers. How can you call the sister or black queen on one record and on the next song treat her like a joke? Think about this. There are messages out there. Use hip hop to the fullest. It's to educate and entertain. That's why Chris called it edutainment. We can dance off it. How many of you saw that t-shirt that was out here uh, Friday night with Snoop and, and Dre? Okay. It showed them as homosexuals and pimps because they're pimping the music. And because there's a negative, negative image that they're putting out. We have to start holding brothers and sisters accountable for what they do, what they say. I'll give you one last example, then we're going to open up this panel. If we're all in a house, and we're partying and bullshit and having a good time, well, we can do that. But if I come and tell you, brother, sister, the house is on fire, we got to stop the bullshit, we got to go knock on doors, we got to make sure everybody is out of that house. Well, I'm going to tell you this, our house is on fire. We can no longer party and bullshit. We can have a good time, we can be entertained, we can entertain, we can enjoy, but we must also educate. And I defy anyone in here to tell me that the beast is not on our tail now. Biologically, chemically, financially, there are major record companies that have just cut me out of the mix. And my work as a photographer is second to none. I apologize to nobody that have just cut me out of the mix. And I will go on because I'm trained in other things. And each of us, that has come forward and tried to advance some knowledge is going to find ourselves cut out of the mix. How many of you know that we went from one form of money to the other just in the past six months and the government didn't even tell you? You take out your money and you're going to see no longer Federal Reserve Bank is going to say pay to the bearer on demand. And the reason for that is because they're going to come up with a third form of money which has a hologram on it. And even the money now has a strip. You go into an airport, they can tell you how much money you got in your pocket using a laser scan. And how many of you see this thing in the supermarkets when you get your food? 
You pay by check. They know how many women are in your house by the fact that you use certain sanitary products. They know how many people are in your house by the volume of food. They can tell everything about you when you pay by check or credit card, and they are keeping and monitoring. They want to know who in your family eats pork. They want to know if your family eats pork or alcohol because they know that you're neutralized. And look at the word neutralize. It means to neuter as you do to an animal. And I suggest that many of us have become neutralized. Hip-hop has to be used as a tool, a weapon, and an aid of education and spiritual evolution. And there are many, many, many people out there who have used it. You can also party and bullshit, but on every album you owe one payback. Craig Mack, with all his stuff, at least gave that one record back to the creator and to us when God comes. That's just one example. Not everybody has to be KRS-One and have 16 cuts deep of education, but we owe it. Like the Boogie Monsters, they got a lot of party and bullshit, but we owe a little payback. If you do a 70 minute record or a CD and you have one minute of truth on that, it's gonna make people stop and say, damn, then you have lived up to the other 69 minutes on there. We have some brothers and sisters on here who really represent. This brother here, Daddy O, needs no introduction. This brother here has been representing day and night, night and day, throughout hip hop with this brother. This sister's made the clothes that we wear with the walker wear. Harry Allen is a media assassin and who's been writing the truth for so many years and has been fearless and has seen the roadblocks because he's not writing about bitches and hoes and ignorance. He can make a lot of money doing that dumb shit. We all could. So anybody in here wants to run out and make some money, go out and do dumb, some dumb shit and you'll be paid. <laughs> <laughs> but guess what? The hip-hop nation got a very sensitive nose. And we can smell a fake or fraud of somebody who's perpetrated or exploiting it in a second. And you can rise quick, but then like a roach, you're crushed and squashed and you're hissed. Whereas somebody who's real will always have the respect. Everybody on this panel, in some way, Chris, brother, has added a valuable, valuable part. I don't write. And I told the powers that be each time I speak that they better pray I never pick up a typewriter. But I have a weapon, and that weapon is the microphone. There's a strip sticking out. Okay, we got the strip sticking out. Here you go. Just to show you what time it is. So all you people got some money, drug money, clean money, however you got your money, they know how much money you got. And they got them scanners, and now they want to put metal detectors in schools and all that other stuff. Ernie, can I see that? And I could go into a whole lecture about credit cards and 666 and the universal product code and make you all dizzy. Thank you for giving us that. But, like I said, they better pray I never pick up a typewriter. They better pray I never do a book and put this knowledge into book form.